Hello everyone, this is Kieran from Freesat Spares. We've been sent in a question that maybe is a popular um, question that people are going to ask as time goes on, um, but it's from a customer called George, and he is asked um, how he can connect two satellite or two Freesat boxes to his LMB um, on his dish. So I thought it might be easier just to make a little video rather than typing out an answer to him. Hopefully, George, you get this and it's clear and understandable. You can always email me back if it's not. OK, so um, George has told me he's got two boxes and one dish LMB. He's also told me that his LMB is a hybrid. Hopefully you can see that it says hybrid. So on a hybrid LMB, we have both what they call the legacy outputs and the wideband horizontal and wideband vertical. So if we pop the dust cover up, we can see we've got four connections. These are colored, these are not. So we can run, essentially, we can run two free sat boxes from this one LMB. We're gonna run one from the wideband, which will allow the box to record up to four channels. And we'll run one box from the legacy connections which will allow us to run uh, record up to two channels. Um, essentially, what we need to make sure is we need to use all four connections, and the two leg, two of the the two legacy connections will go to one box, and the two wideband connections will go to the other box using something. Um, well, we normally use something called shotgun cable, so it's like two cables in one. Essentially, I will show you an example of that now. So this is shotgun cable. You can see it's essentially two cables glued together and I've got two connections at the end. Um, it might look like one cable, but definition is shotgun cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm not, I haven't got a short piece of cable to demonstrate this, but we're going to take the wideband connections, H and V, that's horizontal and vertical, out of here and run it to one box. And then for the other box, we take the legacy connections and we're going to run it to the other box. Now, if you've got what I suspect uh, our customer George has, and that's one cable going to one box and one going to another, you don't have to use shotgun cable. You can use standard satellite CT100 coax. Um, it's just a bit more of a faff because you're going to have to pin a new cable all the way from the dish to the box to create the two inputs. What happens, I know what you're going to say, what happens if you just use one input? Okay, well, if you use one input out of the legacy connectors um, and put it into input one of the box, you will be able to watch TV and record the same channel you're watching. You will not be able to record a separate channel. If you connect one connector out of the um, wideband connectors, H or V, doesn't matter, your box will not work correctly. Essentially, um, as I've spoken about in other videos, in the legacy connections, what is happening is when a cable is connected and a channel is selected on the box, a signal is sent down to the LMB to switch the polarization, the, the horizontal or vertical, um, to pick that channel up. But the way wideband works is one cable carries the horizontal signal and one cable carries the vertical signal. It is not switchable. So essentially, if you plug in a cable into a wideband, just one cable, you're only going to get half of the signals. Some channels might work, they might not. But essentially, it's not going to work properly because you'll only get the channels on either the vertical or either the horizontal with one cable connected. So for wideband... Wideband connections, you must have both cables connected to get all the signals. And for legacy, you can use one that will just give you... Uh, we generally use this when we've got a non-recordable box because it just allows you to view all the channels. If you want to be able to record, then you've got to have two cables connected to the legacy. So just to summarise, if you want to connect a box up like this, the best way to connect it is two cables from a wideband LMB or wideband connectors of a hybrid LMB into the box. That'll give you the most amount of channels. If you don't have a wideband LMB and you've got an older type or 
you've got these connectors on a hybrid type, then you connect there. It allows you, it will work perfectly. It just doesn't record so many channels at the same time. So hopefully that's clear enough. If you want full use of your FreeSat box, you need two cables from the satellite dish or a shotgun cable that has two cables in one. Um, and hopefully that's really clear and brief. If you do have any questions, post them in the comments. I will try and answer them. Thanks very much for tuning in to uh, our little YouTube channel for FreeSat Spares. And don't forget, we spell, sell all the spares you need at freesatspares.co.uk.